10.9 on EXC. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. <laughs> You make me happy when skies are gray. I got the eye of the tiger, a fighter, dancing through the fire, cause I am the champion. Here in Milwaukee, we've got baseball on the show. It's the St. Louis Cardinals and the Milwaukee Brewers. And now, first pitch coming at you right after the break. 22, Milwaukee Brewers. Ready to go. And on the hill in this one, Corbin Burns. Well, his main pitch is that cutter, and he will use it to jam guys, especially opposite-handed matchups. And then, you know, same-handed matchups, just trying to miss the barrel of the bat. He's just got to make sure that he doesn't start it over the heart of the plate because then it can go right into the sweet spot of the bat. When it's right, it's got late horizontal movement, so he still has to mix in his other offerings. He can't just rely on that cutter. Otherwise, hitters will start diving at it. Okay, all set to go. And stepping in is the speedy Tommy Edmond in there at the knees and this one is off and running first pitch seven o'clock righty delivers oh, and it's even up i got a ball one strike the pitch out to short on the run, sends it over to first. Oh. One up, one down. That second, the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Yo one. Foul ball there. That hits the dirt, and the count one and two. Good eye right there. No score, just getting started top of the first. The punch out there, out number two. That cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. So I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Bounced up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. And that will end the inning. It's the Cardinals nothing and the Brewers coming to bat. Major League Baseball is on the show. Bottom of the first. And towing the slab in this one, Adam Wainwright. What should we keep an eye on here? Very solid starters, able to repeat his mechanics on a consistent basis, which allows him to move through a lineup and get deep into a ball game. Bottom of the first, Colton Wong up to hit. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Next offering is down low, and that's ball one. Fought off foul. The 
the 1-1. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Over to Goldie. One up, one down. Batting second. Not shortstop. Really. Not Dominic. Willie Adamas stands in. That one's in there on one. That big curve inside's a pitch that can buckle you a little bit. It looks like a fastball out of the hand and then just drops over that inside part of the plate. And he takes it himself for the out. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Yelich at the dish. That one hammered, but pulled foul. And now the 01. In there at the knees for a strike. That one ran inside, almost got him. Next pitch just misses. The count now two and two. And another ball. The line of the pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And that's the third out. Nobody left for Milwaukee. We played an inning. No score. Hello, my friends. I'm Jen, and I'm here with my really good friends. But let me introduce you to one special. This is Thea. Hi, everybody. And you may know my little beautiful friend in yellow, Lindsay. Aww, thanks, hey, guys. <laughs> And today, we are doing the Finish the Song Challenge! Ah! What is Finish the Song? Well, I'm so glad you asked. We each take turns singing a part of a popular song. Then the other two have to hurry up and hit the buzzer and try and finish the song first. Oh my gosh, that sounds like so much fun. I'd love to sing. What does the winner get? Oh, Fia, that's not exactly how it works around here. <laughs> The winner, they just get to be the winner, but the loser, they have to just see, you know, alligator. Ah, uh, what? Alligator! alligator! <laughs> oh, that sounds gross. I just realized what I actually just, just said. said. Oh my gosh, they have to eat an alligator? Ew. Our judge is cray cray. All right, well, I'm going <laughs> to win this challenge then, or at least not lose. <laughs> you yeah, guys we'll ready? See. Same here. We'll see you later, alligator. <laughs> um, all right, let's do this. Uh, rock, paper, so and let's just let our special friend Thea go yeah, first. Yeah, let Thea go first. Are you guys sure? Absolutely. Okay, if you guys say so. Um, <laughs> la, 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 la. Stop. <laughs> Mama made me mash my human <sighs> arms. Okay, are you guys ready? <laughs> Bring it on, Jen. And a one and a two and a You are my sunshine, my only sunshine ah! You make me happy when skies are gray <laughs> Yeah? Is that it? Um, <laughs> yes, it is You'll never know, dear How much I love There's you There's just a little bit more So please don't take yeah. my sunshine away Yay! Yay. Yay. There you go That was cute <laughs> yes. I don't know if you guys will know this song, but okay. we'll see. Cause the player's gonna play, 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 and the and the hate is gonna hate, hate, hate. I know it. I I know the song like inside and out, but I just love okay, the beat. Okay, so cause the player's gonna play, 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 and the hate is gonna hate, 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 hate. Player's gonna play, play. Just think of like the repeating, play, repeating this. Play, gonna play, hate, play, 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 I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. Yes! Shake it off. I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. Baby, you light up my world like nobody else. The way you flip your hair gets me overwhelmed. But when you smile at the ground, ain't it hard to tell you don't know? You don't know you're beautiful. That's what makes you beautiful. She got Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And welcome back. Top of the second. Here's the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. Burns back to work. And he grounds one back up the middle. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. This is Dylan Carlson. Pitch misses inside. 1-0. and oh. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. No score here in the second. And that one got a piece of him. Well, he's just glad they got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. First and second, no outs. There's Dickerson now. And that's in there for strike one. Second inning here, no score. Next offering is in for a strike. That one missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The next offering misses, and the count's even at two. Next pitch is popped up. Two on, one out, and stepping up to the dish is Yadier Molina. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield should be an inning ending double play. And there's a foul ball. You'll one. And there's a ball. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe's an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. It feels like he kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. Next pitch is downstairs. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. The 2 1. Swings through that one. And the pitch. And look out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Well, there's no hiding in this spot. Base is loaded now, and no more wiggle room for any more mistakes like that. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. First pitch, just misses. Arenado on third. Carlson over at second. Molina over at first with one away. Now one and one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Strike two. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it. Still try to get that ground ball double play.
Next one misses, and the count is even, two and two. And here it comes. That one lifted to left. Brings it in. Runner tags from third. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. So first and second with two outs. Harrison Bader next up for the Cardinals. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. In there for strike one. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game. But ultimately, you either have it or you don't. First and second, two down. Got him looking. That ends the frame. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Cardinals one and the Brewers nothing. Back here at American Family Field. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. The designated hitter, Andrew McCutcheon. And a pitch. That's a strike. Strike one. Not many guys go up there looking for an 0-0 breaking ball, but a good way for the pitcher to get ahead in the count. Here's a high chopper. And he grabs it in foul ground. 0-2 now. Got him swinging. One out. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. And now it's Rowdy Telez. And first offering is fouled off. wind of the pitch and that one wrapped foul and a foul ball he stays alive That one misses in the dirt. 0-2 oh, count. You got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. The next pitch misses, and it's 2-2. Two and two. Oh, He might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Next offering misses, 3-2 and two now. Up the middle, it's through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. That exists. The Runner on at first with one Hunter. gone. Next for Milwaukee, Renfro. Hunter Renfro. In there in its own one. pitch that one fouled off
Ground ball right side could be two. Over to second for one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Cardinals one and the Brewers nothing. All right. All right. You guys will definitely know this one. You have to know this one. Okay. All right. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. <laughs> you wanna what? <laughs> I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. Uh, really, really, really wanna zinga zing. Ah. Uh. Yeah! <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. It ain't about how fast I get there. It's about what's waiting on the other side. <laughs> oh, uh, crickets. Oh. It's the clown. Yes! Miley Cyrus. Oh, I know. Nice. Was that the next? Was that the yeah, next Yeah, that's line? it. All okay. you have to say was it's the climb. Okay. okay, here we go. Get ready, my friends. All right. Warm up my buzzer hands. All right. Then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer without a trace. <laughs> No doubt in my mind, I'm in love. Ooh, oh, I'm a believer. I couldn't see her if I tried. <laughs> Guitar solo. I'm going to give it to you. Try any more? But it's I couldn't leave her. Oh, there's so many birds. But it was change. so close and she got like 98% of it. Yeah. That's an A plus, right? Back here at the ballpark, Tommy Edmond at the plate. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And the right hater back to work. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. And he deals. They say it went. The count is one and two. Bounce to the right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Leadoff man retired here in the third. The batter, the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Telez makes the play. That's out number two. Now batting, the left fielder, Tyler O'Neill. And up next for St. Louis, Tyler O'Neill. Great speed and great power, a great athlete, quite simply. First pitch, not close. He's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. Two down, nobody on. There's a strike. Righty to the plate. Bounce to the left side. Wong picks it up. No throw. He's safe at first. Boog, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. So two down. Nolan Arenado digs in now. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list.
pitch misses inside and that is ball one. Burns with a move to first. O'Neill back in standing. Right hander kicks deals. In for a strike. And that's strike one. O'Neill off of first with two away. Swing and a miss. In the count, one and two. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Out number three. So one left for the Cardinals, but they're on top, one nothing. Welcome back as we go to the last of the third. Omar Narvaez at the plate. The catcher. Omar Narvaez. Wainwright back to work. Ball one, no strikes. And a strike. I got one ball, one strike. Next pitch misses. Now two balls and a strike. Two ball, one strike. Left hand hitter waits. Good no eye on that spot. Right Swings down. and misses. And it's a full count. And yeah, there's ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Now it's Lorenzo Kane. That one's in there, 0 and 1. At the belt and fires. In the dirt. The tag, and he's out at second. One down, base is empty. And that's through there for a strike. One and two now. Towards first. The flip to the pitcher covering. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. Batting done. The third baseman. Jay Peterson. Now it's Chase Peterson. First pitch, and he just misses. Two outs. Fouled off. He was late. Left-hand batter waits. And that one fouled off. The one-two. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. Three innings complete. It's the Cardinals one and the Brewers nothing. Back here in Milwaukee, out of the fourth, and stepping in for the Cardinals, Dylan Carlson. The right field, number three, Dylan Carlson. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. 
generally second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. The 0-2. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. And that's the first out. Here's Corey Dickerson. Designated hitter, Corey Dickerson. And that's in there for strike one. On the ground to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now Molina at the plate. Check swing, but he went too far. Strike one. The pitch. Ball one low. And the right hander deals. And strike two. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Got to make a quick adjustment. Grabs it on the run. And that is that. Redbirds down quietly, but they hold a 1-0 lead. really tempted to sing it in her voice, but... Do it! Ooh, do it! Okay. We'll do an impersonation it away. round. Probably the first line. <gasps> Oops. Uh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you played with my heart, got lost in the game. Oh, oh baby, baby, baby. Oops. Yeah. I think yeah. I'm in what love. Did that I'm sing for... I I'm guess it depends. Her. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not that innocent. Yes. Oh, man. Here. That's it. her jam. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna do this in the voice of the person. Okay. You're welcome, everyone. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. <laughs> and I think to myself, <laughs> what a wonderful world. Yeah. You guys those sounded beautiful. <laughs> you can play the trumpet, Jen. Where's your trumpet at? <laughs> you think the only people who are people are the people who look and think like you. But if you walk the footsteps of a stranger, you'll learn things you never knew. You never knew. And welcome back. Bottom of the fourth to the batter now, Colton Wong. For the, Brewers, the second baseman. The pitch. That one finds the zone. Going to one. And a pitch. This one in the air center field. Bader moving under this one. Makes the grab one away. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets outs. Next for the Brewers, Willie Adamas. Grounded out his first time up. That one misses in the dirt. And that's outside. Here comes a pitch. Hot shot to third. Slings it across. Two up, two down. 
the left field. Christian Yelich. Now it's Christian Yelich. Pitch misses inside, inside and that's ball one. Kicks and deals. Nope. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. The next offering misses, and now three and zero. Oh. The wind and the pitch. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Runner at first with two away. And here is Andrew McCutcheon. In there for strike one. Moves to first. Yelich dives back in. The pitch. That's a strike. And the count is 0-2. And, and at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. The 0-2. Stays alive. Yelich off of first with two away. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Milwaukee leaves one. They still trail one nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the shortstop, Paul DeYoung. The shortstop, Paul DeYoung. And the pitch. Nope. And ball takes one. low for ball one. Ball one, no strike. And here it comes. Swings through that ball one ball out ball in front that time. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the ball dirt. Ball. Next pitch in the dirt. Two and one. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Next offering is fouled back. Here's a 2 2. That one just misses. On the ground to third, and foul ball. And he deals. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and there's one down. And now Bader up to the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Next one misses, and a count is 2-0.
Swing and a miss. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. The pitch. And downstairs. Riding to the plate. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. The three two oh, is oh, off the outside edge. And that is ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. So the lineup flips over. Tommy Edmond getting ready to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Next offering is in for a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Oh, and two now. Next offering misses down and away. One and two. And now the count is even. Right-hander kicks deals. Taps softly third base side. A swinging bunt. And it goes just foul. Got him. Two down. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Paul Goldschmidt, the next to hit. Good contact guy, good defender. First offering, misses the mark. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit ripped into left center base hit and it bangs up against the wall Bader coming home he'll score easily and they lead by two Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Now up for St. Louis, Tyler O'Neill. This guy has turned into a beast. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Goldie stands at second with two gone. Next offering upstairs. The pitch. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Right through there for a strike. The next pitch misses, and the count's full.
Rudder at second, two down. Righty delivers. Hammer, base hit. Here comes Goldie around third. He'll score, and they're up by three. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump off. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Here's Nolan Arenado. In there, and it's 0-1. Two outs. Got the bat going too soon. It's strike two. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. At the belt and fires. And down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Cardinals three and the Brewers nothing. Back here at American Family Field. John Shabby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five. Rowdy Telez. Rowdy. And a pitch. And that skips in the dirt. Just a weak fly ball this time. Arenado makes his way towards it and puts the squeeze on that. And there's one down. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Hunter Renfro at the plate. He's over one. And that's in there for strike one. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Next offering is downstairs. The wind of the pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. The 2 2. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Next offering in the dirt, and the count's full. The pitch. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. And he reluctantly takes his walk. Omar Narvaez up now for the Brewers. He reached out a walk his first time. That one's in there, 0-1. 0-1's the count. And a pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Two down. The center fielder, number six, Lorenzo Kane. Up now for Milwaukee, Lorenzo Kane. He's 0 for 1. 
He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. And the right hander deals. That one off the mark, and it's one and one. Here comes a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. And now two and two. Renfro, the runner at first with two gone. Kicks and deals. In the air, out towards right center. Bader on the move to his left. Can't get there. Base hit. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double, second and third now. Jace Peterson up now for the Brewers. 0 for 1 so far. The third baseman. Peterson. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Second and third, two down. Next offering misses, and now 2-0. Oh. There's the strike at the knees. Tying run at the plate. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He sends it out of here. And they throw three on the board. It's 3-3. Three, three. Clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Now Next to hit, Colton Wong. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. And that's in for a strike. The wind of the pitch. And now one and two. The one, two. Stays alive. That one pulled foul. Left hand hitter waits. And a foul ball, he stays alive. That one pushed to the left and foul. Line drive and a base hit. So he gets on base and keeps it going. Up next to Two outs, Watch runner at first. Down. Willie Adamas will hit next. In there and it's 0-1. pitch 
He swings and drives one out to deep left field. This one's got a chance. Turning and looking, and it's gone. This place is absolutely loving it, and that gives him a lead. It's 5-3. Base is empty with two away. Now the left fielder, Christian Yelich. And the first pitch misses in the dirt. Left hand batter waits. And that's in for a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Nick Wickgren appears to be getting loose. Hicks getting loose as well. to count one and two this guy's sink has so much drop in it it's almost like a split finger fastball instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground he gets swings and misses two two and now the count filled up three and two got him and he's down on strikes for the second time today. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 5-3 ball game. Ready? Ready. I got the eye of the tiger, a fighter. Dancing through the fire, cause I am the champion. A whole new world, a dazzling place I never knew. But when, which one is yep, it? Yep. But when I'm way up here, it's crystal clear. And now I'm in a whole new world with you. <laughs> oh, I love it. Because I wanted to be sure again which one it was. A uh, gap. Yeah. Go. It's close to midnight, <gasps> and something evil's looking in the dark. Ah. Uh. Under the moonlight, you see a sight that almost stops your heart. You try to scream. I think you just already saying this, but something comes lurking around your door. Oh, sorry. And uh, holds you deep inside. Is it something holds you deep inside? No. Something holds you. The terror holds the night. Terror mm. is a word. It's pulling you into the night. No. The terror shrinks you in the night. Terror scares you in the night. The I night. just know the dance. You're I paralyzed. I know that part. <laughs> All right, since we did not step no. up to the plate that round, <laughs> Jen actually gets the point because she stumped yes. us. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not exactly proud of that one because I didn't know how it went <laughs> exactly, but thanks. I'll take it. All set for the top of the sixth. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Dylan Carlson. And the right hater back to work. In for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. And the pitch. And that one in the air center field. He's got it. And there's one away. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Lined, and that's a base hit. Around first, heading for two. And he's in with a stand-up double. The catcher, number four. One down. Yadier Molina next up for the Cardinals. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Yelich makes the play, and there's two down. Oh. 
So up next, Paul DeYoung. In there for strike one. Runner leads away at second. That's inside. And now two and one. Now just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. Next pitch misses. Three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. And the righty deals. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. And up next for St. Louis, Harrison Bader. If he can get through this one, Put up a zero. This will help in his outings to come. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two on, two outs. And it's even up. And he deals. And now two balls and a strike. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. The 2 1. Ground ball, left side. They get the force. That's the third out. So the cards strand a couple. They're still down 5 3. Back down for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Nick Wickren. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. The pitch. McCutcheon in the box again, takes a strike. Movement in the bullpen for the Cardinals, T.J. McFarland. The southpaw is throwing and getting that sinker dialed in. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Next pitch is outside. Kicks and fires. And fouled off. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry. At the play, Rowdy Telez, one for two. Ball. Pitch Can't misses inside, ball one. Righty delivers, swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a foul back, that's out of play.
The pitch. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Swing and a ball lifted left field. O'Neill under it. And there's two away. Now batting right fielder. Hunter Renfro. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's Hunter Renfro. First offering is fouled off. There's a strike. Right handed reliever. Ball, that's off the plate. This hitter's been seeing good velocity in the at bat. It's kind of set up for that changeup. He hasn't seen it yet. Looks just like a fastball out of the hand. Next Good offering ball. down Good in the front. dirt. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Three up, three down, inning over. Brewers go down quietly, and it remains 5-3. Jake Cousins on a pitch out of the pen here, trying to protect this lead. Welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the second baseman, Tommy the Edmund. The second baseman, Tommy Edmund. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Counts one and oh. Right hander kicks deals. Ball two. And a good eye there. Two balls, no strikes. And there's a strike. That misses. Three and one now. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Righty to the plate. Up the middle. Adamas picks it up on to first. And they get Edmund for the out. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled oh, over it. Got the ground ball. The first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt. Next up for the Cardinals. That one hammered left field way back there. Has some trouble with it. Banks off the wall. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Here's the left fielder, Tyler O'Neill, for the fourth time tonight. Next pitch downstairs, and it's 1 0.
Goldie. The runner at second with one away. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. This is one of those situations where the pitcher may not really want to deal with the guy in the box. And you got to be aware of that. Take your walk. I couldn't do it, but I think he can. And a count one and two. The tying run at the plate. And that one hammered. That's back. And that one's gone. Tyler O'Neill sends it out. And they add a couple more. It's 5-5. Five, five. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Here's Nolan Arenado, one for three. First pitch, and he just misses. And the righty deals. Gets the slider in there for a strike. Now, just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Next one is off the play, and it's two and one. Now you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Out to short. Adamas collects. And they get Arenado for the out. The right fielder, number three, Dylan Carlson. And here is Dylan Carlson. And that's in there for strike one. And a pitch. And it's fouled away. In the air to left center. A little bloop single. And that extends the inning. That ball right there landed in what they call the no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. They got to go a long way as well. Yandel Gustave on the pitch here. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. Gustave. Go ahead, run on base. Corey Dickerson next up for the Cardinals. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Ball one there. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Next nope. pitch off the play, and it's two and one. Left hand hitter waits, and that's a strike. That one ripped just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. Now it rolls down into the corner. Runner around third on his way to the plate. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Trying to take the lead in the late going. Can't blame him, but the defense was having none of that. Close play at the dish. The tag applied just in time, and we'll push on with a tie ball game. Pitching change here, T.J. McFarland.
ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the Brewers catcher now, Omar Narvaez. The catcher. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. The pitch. That's in for a strike. At the belt and fires. And he dodges that fastball. The 1-1. One, one. Straighten him up a little bit. Kicks and deals. The other way. And he pulls up on it, and that's a hit. Well, that may end up being an at-bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now a huge at-bat in this game coming up. And now Lorenzo Kane, and it gets by him. Rowe holds him at second, but the go-ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They've had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Now here is Jace Peterson, and a sack bunt here. Throws across the diamond, out on the sack bunt. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the second baseman, Colton Wong. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. Here's the sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. Be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. That one misses. One and one. Narvaez at third. Kane at second with one away. Ground ball to the right side. Steps on first for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Next for Milwaukee, Willie Adamas. He's already homered here in this one. In there for strike one. And now the lefty. Two outs, two in scoring position. Huge strike out there. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Next round is worth double the points. Yeah. You are up, girlfriend. Woo, okay. Woo. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got gadgets and what's its galore? If you want something, I've got plenty. Hold on. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got hoozits and what's its galore? You want thingamabobs? I got twenty. But who cares? I want more. Well, you're supposed to say I want more, and you said it, so it works. You got Yay! the point. The other part was. Oh, just, you know, no big no deal. deal. No, no big deal. Totally no big deal. I want more. 
Come on, come on, turn the radio on. It's Friday night and I won't be long. Gotta do my hair, put my makeup on. It's Friday night and I won't be long to hit the dance floor. Hit the dance floor again. Yes! We have a winner! Especially my alarm clock. Just Ooh, so you all yeah. know, because I like to get up and party. Mine is, I like to move it, move it. <laughs> you like to move, move it. it! It's the last one. It comes down to you two. Ooh. And I'm going to try and make it a little bit hard, so I'm going to maybe sing it a little bit wonky. Here we go. <sighs> don't let them in. Don't let them see. Be the good girl you always have to be. Unconceal, don't feel, don't let them know. But now they know. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Sing with me, guys. Let it go, let it go. Turn away and the door. <laughs> you would get that card. <laughs> You know. Back here at the ballpark, and now the catcher comes up to him. Yadier Molina. And a pitch. And ball one. Activity in the bullpen for the Brewers. Aaron Ashby, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. The pitch. Check swing, but he went too far. Slider right there. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The pitch. And that's outside. Here comes a pitch. Way out front for strike two. And a 3-2. And that's ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. No outs. Runner at first. Paul DeYoung next up for the Cardinals. Next offering is down low, and that's ball one. And a swing and a miss. Not sure what's going on right there. No chance. Probably have some uh, funny texts from his buddies after the game. And the pitch. Good eye right there. The pitch. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Long run, nice grab. And there's one down. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Harrison Bader. Ripped on a line. He can't get there. It's a base hit. And the go-ahead run into scoring position. One away. Just a huge at bat right there. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Had a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. And now here is nope. Tommy Edmond. First offering misses the mark. And the right hater deals. Foul ball. Falling behind two and one. 
Home plate umpires try to tighten things up a little bit. Two and one now, two aboard. Lined, and that's a base hit. Here comes Molina. The relay, the tag, and he's out. I don't think he got a great read and or jump as he was trying to score from second on that one. Nice execution by the defense. Come up throwing, hit the relay man, and then onto the plate. Beautiful example of a well-executed play. Goldschmidt next up for the Cardinals first pitch and that's in for a strike and here it comes hit pretty well in the air out to center Kane gets under it he's got it and that's the inning here in Milwaukee and now it's Christian Yelich he's a big strong guy can untie this game with one swing McFarland back to work and the first pitch misses for ball one so important for him to control the heart rate right now he's got to go through the heart of this lineup Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. The pitch. Nope, outside. Fouls one off. Two and two. Just missed. That's a really good take. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just pours in on the hands. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. And he deals. Bounce to third. Base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. One down, runner at first. Next for the Brewers, Rowdy Telez. And a foul ball. The 0-1. Ripped on a line to center. Bader pulls it down. Two down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. New pitcher for the Cardinals, Jordan Hicks. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Well, with pretty good speed over there at first base, I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. Foul ball there. Mm -hmm. 
Pickoff throw. McCutcheon back in on the dive. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. Next offering is down low. Right-hander kicks, deals. He swings and fouls one off. Righty to the plate. Stays alive. McCutcheon off of first with two away. Next one misses, and that's ball two. Righty delivers, and that one fouled off. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. And a swing and a miss, and we stay tied as the inning ends. Brewers strand one, and this remains a 5-5 ball game. And welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Tyler O'Neill. The right-hander back to work. There's the strike. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Next one is off the plate. And a count even one and one. And the righty deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Check swing, appeal to first. Yes, he did. Down he goes on strikes. Now up the Cardinals number four hitter, Nolan Arenado. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Two really good back to back sliders. Now in an 0 2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Bounce back to the mound. And it gets by him. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Substitution being made at first. On to pinch run. Edmundo Sosa. Dylan Carlson digs in now. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Inside, just missed. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Gustave picks the first, and he's back in there. At the belt and fires. In the dirt. To second, but way too late, safe there. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Two on, one out. Corey Dickerson next up for the Cardinals. Yeah, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Two on, one out. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. One out. 
The go ahead run is at second. The next offering misses. And a count two and one. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats. And the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. Left field. And a base hit right there. Here's the throw to the plate. It's off the mark, and he scores. And it's 6 5. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff with base hit. They turn things over to the southpaw, Brent Suter. And he'll do his best to keep this close. So first and second with one man gone. And now the Cardinals catcher, Yadier Molina. Next pitch downstairs. And that is ball one. And now the lefty, double steal. Swing and a miss. Throw, and they got him. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. Two outs. And a foul ball. He stays alive. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. And a pitch. High fly ball out at a left center field. Yelich has a beat on it and puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll do it. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 6-5. Edmundo Sosa now in the game as he takes over third. And now they turn to Giovanni Gallegos. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Welcome back. Here's the catcher, Omar Narvaez. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. The pitch. There's a strike. Right-handed reliever. That misses, and it's a ball to strike. Looking to get the tying run on base. And now two and one after that missed inside. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. Next pitch is popped up. Goldie in position. And there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. So digging in, Lorenzo Kane. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. In there and it's 0-1. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Fouled off. He was late. A one-run lead, and yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. Yeah. 
swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Two away down. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. So two down now, and here is Jace Peterson. And that's in there for strike one. Left-hand hitter waits. That one way outside. And that's ball one. Two down, nobody on. A little bit low. Home team down a run. Here in the last half of inning number nine. High fly ball down the left field line. O'Neill under it. He's got it. Ball game. And the Cardinals hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, you take a tight ball game into the ninth on the road, you know that you've got some work to do. You've got to score, but then you've also got to get three outs in the bottom half of that inning. They did just that today. Very well played ball game. Get this win on the road. Everybody's happy with the W. Oh, I'm so sorry, Lindsay. Yeah. That Alligator, kind of. Don't make her it do it. It does. Ooh. That looks weird. Oh, oh, that smells like a swamp oh. in a bag. Have you guys oh, ever I had can... alligator? Let us know in the comments. Oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Isn't there a song about that? See you Won't later, alligator. alligator. After a while, crocodile. <laughs> oh, okay, see you guys later. Da, da, da. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. Right. Like holy like, moly. <laughs> Oh, okay. Do it. Got this, girl. Set. Go, Lindsay. Oh, oh, my gosh. That was a big old bite. That such was like an alligator size a bite. Trooper. I think the scale is still on here. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Oh, dog. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're definitely. No, there's half scales. That looks How does it taste? Does it taste awesome? Mm, like I wouldn't really use that word. <laughs> <laughs> poor thing. Poor it's like really thing. chewy oh. <laughs> and gamey. Ugh. And mm -mm. tastes like lake water. All right, you're a champ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Whew. Winner. <laughs> All right, that's it for the finish the song challenge. What's your favorite song? Let us know in the comments. And press that like button if you'd rather not eat alligator. Like, can a girl get a donut? Bye! Bye, guys! Ew, it was so gross. Lindsay, you just need to shake it off. Like, shake, shake it off? Like, like shake, shake it off, shake it off. Because the play is going to play, 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 play. And the hate is going to hate, 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 hate. Yeah. I'm just going to shake, 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 shake. Shake it off, shake it off. Hey, you fellow knights out there, it's me, Modern Knight, the owner of Super Den Sports. Thanks for watching this very special episode of Super Den Sports XC. Hope you have fun singing along and finishing those lyrics. And if you'd like to show your support, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below what you thought. Also, be sure to donate to the PayPal and Cash App accounts so I can keep creating. Also, be sure to follow me on the social media platforms listed in the description below. Until next time, take care everybody.